The next skill I want to show you on Dotloop is how to edit a form without deleting a signature. So if you mess around with Dotloop long enough, you will see times that maybe a document is signed and you can see different uh, green signature boxes and you go back to edit that form or add something maybe the client told you to add and it's going to delete the signature if you make any changes. Well, how do you get around this? Well, this is meant as a safety measure. So for example, if I click accepts, now it's going to say, are you sure you want to edit this form? Making the changes to this form will clear all signatures. When you're, when you're done, you'll need to reshare the document to have it signed again. Now, why is this a thing? You can hit do not make changes and it goes back to the way it was, or you can hit yes, I'm sure, and it will make that change I did with the checkbox, but it will actually delete all the signatures. That is a safety feature built into Dotloop. That is to help you as a real estate agent stay safer by not modifying legal documents. Now, I want to go about two different workarounds if you run into this error message that's going to wipe all the signatures. Let's say, for example, all parties have signed this, but oops, the seller forgot to mark accepts on this contract. Well, that's very important. We need that box to be checked. There's two ways to do this. One is to have the other agent send you back the form with just the buyer's signature and then erase this signature, mark accepts, and then have the seller sign. That's the safest way, delete the signatures, have them resign. However, there is a second way, but you need to be very careful if you, if you do it this way. What you can do is you can hit file, download. As soon as you download a document from Dotloop, it seals that PDF, everything is flattened. And so let me show what I mean. Add document, let me drag this back in. So you can see down here with the signatures, now you can't change it because it downloaded a permanent PDF copy of this form. So what you could do is it add checkbox, but you need to make sure all parties acknowledge the change that has been made to this document in order for it to be enforceable and legally valid. You do not want to, we have seen every now and then for compliance, a form that is submitted for approval that looks like this. And the problem with this is we know our agent has modified this document. This is a blue text box. It's not frozen like the black text here. So we know this document has been changed without signatures by all parties. The solution is not to then download this one more time and then upload it for compliance. That is illegally modifying a document. So if you're gonna do it this way, make sure to add initials and have all parties initial any sort of change to a document. And that is how you can avoid erasing all the signatures and move forward with your dot loop 